Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 20th. I decided to do it earlier today considering I have a boatload of private readings to do tonight. So if you're on the schedule, they get done throughout the whole night, so just be patient. <laughs> um, anyhow, so here we go. We're going to get this started. This is for August 20th. Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe, what do we have for the 20th? moment of decision somebody is about to make a serious decision it's like they're at that crossroads and it's time to choose you know it's time to choose do i go right or do i let do let go left what what, what are we going to do here so it's a moment of decision on this day um somebody may be seizing a new opportunity ready to let go of some sort of regret um opening up somebody is really opening up 20th august 20th what do we got Somebody sees something. I see. It's like I know. I see something. They may get some sort of epiphany. Some sort of intuitive message on this day. Really pay attention. Okay. Because you may receive a message. Um, and you may ignore it. Okay. Don't ignore it. If you receive a random message. Okay. If you receive a random message. I'm thinking it's like in your vehicle. If you don't have a vehicle. I don't know. I feel like it's in your, in your, in your vehicle. <laughs> That's what I just heard. So you're in your vehicle and you receive this message and it's random. Pay attention to that message. It has a message within that message. You know what I'm saying? Adjacent possibilities. So we have some, it's funny because when I started shuffling, this was on the bottom. And when I picked up this deck, when I picked up this deck and I put it in my hand to use it today, I pictured the journey card. I pictured the journey card, you know, where she's traveling across the bridge. I pictured that card. But when I picked up the deck to shuffle it, this was on the bottom, okay? The journey card is now on the bottom. So this is this is so right. It really is. Now let me tell you what else. What else did I just think? Somebody's, and then I saw that two of wands while I was shuffling or at the beginning of the reading that is crossing that bridge somebody is about to leave behind something it's like they and it's funny did I say they see another opportunity I think I did I can't remember things come out of my mouth so fast so I can't remember if I said that or not but there's a there's it's like somebody gets this new opportunity they see a new opportunity they, they decide to take it they decide to go the path less traveled so I feel like today is a day of Leaving something behind, not taking very much with you. I'm, I'm leaving. You know, this is crossing that bridge, taking a journey. Somebody may be traveling. They may be just going somewhere. You know, maybe they're going to go back. But it looks to me as though the possibilities are endless. There's multiple doors that are open here. And I feel like somebody knows it. It's, I see. Remember, I see. I see. That's what I said. I see that there's multiple options here. And I think that somebody gets some sort of epiphany that, you know, where I've been, there's nothing left for me there. It's time for me to go. Somebody gets that epiphany that there's multiple possibilities. And there are. There are multiple options here. So I feel like today is a day of um, taking that path. You know, maybe you go down a road that you've never been down and you see something that gives you a message, you know, because there's no such thing as coincidence. So really look around, be be in your element. I mean, really, really look around, keep your eyes open, pay attention to signs on this day. They will guide you in the right direction. Somebody is being guided to leave the past behind, to leave everything and don't go. Don't take that shit with you. Somebody is being guided. You see, they get this... Somebody's being guided. They're being guided to go towards happiness. Go to the go someplace you haven't been. So go. Just go. Um, there's so many possibilities if you do. So what do we have for August 20th? What do we got for August 20th? Now I just did a September 14th full moon reading. I don't know why. It's only August 19th when I'm recording this, but when it was plaguing me for the last two days. You gotta do a reading, especially today, more than anything, September 14th. You gotta do a reading for September 14th. So the full moon reading for September 14th is downloading now. And I didn't even know it was the full moon on that day until it plagued me so much today that I looked. I was like, what the hell is September 14th? So I looked on the calendar. Sure enough, 
it's full moon. Well, that makes sense. Anyhow, um, September 14th is, is after me, and it's probably after you too, so I don't know what that means, but it's definitely a significant day. Um, but this is a card of, this is a six, which is reevaluation. So somebody on the 20th is going to be going through a time of reevaluation. Mayor of Water, this is the King of Cups. We could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a very feeling king, the King of Cups. He usually has good intentions. He's not given to intellectual conversation. He's given to follow his heart. He has a big heart, and he's looking for love. This guy is very charming. He's romantic, and, you know... We, it's all about his heart. You know, he just wants love. He's got love to offer. So on this day, we have somebody here that may be, you know, this guy has good intentions. He has good intentions. He's kind. He's compassionate. He's a lover. So this guy is a lover. Um, Empress reversed. Interesting. Oh my god. Ha! Ah. Lack of respect. Pain. This person is, is still dealing with some pain. She's got pain. She hasn't delivered her pain yet. She hasn't had her delivery yet. It's not over. Okay, she's um, not feeling very compassionate. She has nothing left to give. She doesn't care anymore. She doesn't even care. She does not care. So she is... Four of Wands reverse. This is an unexpected message. See the message in, on the typewriter? Somebody is going to receive an unexpected message. This woman is miserable. She is miserable in the reverse. She's miserable. She's in pain. She's uncomfortable. She's not feeling it. You know, she's not feeling good. She's not in any mood to converse with anybody. She is, you know, she may be feeling undervalued. She may not be taking very good care of herself. She may be talking shit. She's not a happy camper. Okay, we got this, this, this King of Cups here who may be trying to help this person. The Four of Wands reverse. This is an unexpected. This is Four of Wands reverse is unexpected. It's an unexpected uh, fortune or unexpected event, unexpected happiness. A relationship is about to become more committed. So this man... Hmm. He's the one that's crossing that bridge. He's, that's that two of wands I was telling you about. He's thinking about this person. Look at that. He's thinking about this person that he caused so much pain. Imagine that shit. No kidding. No kidding. He may want to, I don't know what the hell he wants. Eight of, eight of swords. Yeah, he's, he's trapped. Trapped in his own thoughts. Trapped in his own mind. He's got a lot of mental conflict going on. He can escape from it, but he's choosing there. He's in prison. He's got himself. Oh, he's imprisoned. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's imprisoned. So, they we have this guy who is he's trapped. He can escape, but, you know, he's staying there, though. He's staying there. He likes prison, apparently. Anyhow, um... He's got a big heart. He's got a big heart. He knows, I think this, this, this King of Cups is thinking about facing the danger. You see that crocodile is danger. He's, and it is dangerous to deal with the Empress in reverse. This Empress is very wise. She has a lot of life experience and she's miserable. And she's the queen of all queens. And should you face the Empress that you hurt... <laughs> keep in mind that she is a little bit dangerous so anyway I feel like we have somebody here that is, is really thinking about what he has to offer he's thinking about stepping forward he keeps thinking about he keeps looking at her pictures 
he keeps looking at her he he's watching her and he it's like he wants some sort of commitment I think he wants a commitment. He wants some sort of happiness or he wants to bring happiness back. He may even, you know, there could be a letter that arrives. He may, he may, you know, have typed up a letter. Maybe she's going to receive the letter that is going to make her very emotional. I'm not sure what this is. Fortitude. This is a strength card. This guy is going to, or is want, needing to find the strength to be courageous. He's going to need some freaking courage to face this fucking crocodile. <laughs> Absolutely, he's going to need some courage to do that. So, anyway, um, it looks to me like we have somebody here that is, you know, his heart wants something. He knows what his heart wants. He's very intuitive. This guy is very, very intuitive. I feel like he wants to help this person deal with their pain, but he needs to escape something of his own. You know, he's got his own mental conflict that he needs to escape from. He needs to stop confining himself. He needs to stop containing himself. He needs to be strong. He needs to find the strength within himself to break free of that old mentality and go after what his heart wants. So I, whether he's going to do it or not, I don't, I, I don't see that yet. But I do see we somebody here that is really watching this, this person. This I think it's the Empress watching this person, almost like watching her suffer. Watching her suffer. And he knows that he has an opportunity. She probably has multiple opportunities, even in reverse. She does have multiple options. She does. She's the Empress. Okay. And I, maybe he's fearful that she's going to get into a commitment because this is a commitment, the Four of Wands. In reverse, it's really good. So she may be getting into a commitment. could be a rebound. could be a rebound kind of thing because she's trying to heal from pain that she hasn't delivered yet. So, and he's thinking about, you know, the loss. You know, he's not making any moves. He's staying trapped. He's staying stuck in his own stupid state of mind, you know, being a coward when he needs to find the strength and the courage to step forward and break free from that mentality. So, anyway, I feel like we he's very attracted. I think that um, he is dealing with a person that has done a lot of healing, but she's not completely healed. Ugh. He's, this is, it's not over yet. This is the death card reverse. It's not over yet. This hasn't ended yet. It hasn't ended yet. You know, this is the wild unknown, but it's a death card reverse. It's 13. It's like, this is holding on. It's like, he doesn't want this person to release. You know, he knows that it's coming to an end. I think this person knows he's very intuitive. He knows that this person has multiple options and it's almost like he can't step over out of his own mental conflict and find the courage to step forward and he but he knows that it is coming to an end he knows that this person is about to get into another commitment this person has probably been looking she's probably chasing you know because she's hurt she's in pain and she's thinking that when she finds somebody they're going to help her to heal you know they're going to help her to heal so she this is kind of like a rebound thing and he knows this he knows this um So we have somebody here that is, he hasn't quite faced the danger yet. He hasn't made the move. He hasn't made the move yet. He isn't, he's getting there. He's getting there. Um, he's hoping, he's hoping, he's hoping that he can heal this person that is so deeply hurt. This person is very is still in a lot of pain. The Empress reversed. Hoping and healing. <coughs> so we have somebody that coming in that has a big heart. That has the ability. This guy has the ability. He does. He has the ability to help this person heal. If he can only step out of his own mental trap his own mental anxiety his own mental prison so we have somebody here that four of swords reverse he's exhausted this person is, is, is frustrated exhausted 
Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. There's been some deception. There's been lies. There's been cheating. But you notice an owl. Owl is change. It's death. Highest intuitive wisdom. The time is up. It's time. It's time to swoop in. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's time to swoop in. So we have somebody here that may be deciding to swoop in. Five of Cups reversed. They see an opportunity. They see an opportunity to grab love. To grab it. It's like they see an opportunity after a loss. This is like a loss. They, they see an opportunity to help somebody heal. They see an opportunity here. They see a very attractive opportunity. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be swooping in to sweep somebody right off their feet. I think this is unexpected. I think that if you are single, somebody is going to try to swoop in. Um... They may take you by surprise. I think it will definitely take you by surprise. This person can help you to heal. This could be an Aquarius. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Leo. Could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, whatever this is, this is a new opportunity for love, for healing. Um, this, is a, this is some sort of... This could lead to commitment. It could lead to marriage. This person may even... Uh, come with something in their hand, okay, because I, I noticed that right here. They may come with something in their hand. They've been thinking about it for a while. They've been thinking about crossing that bridge. They've been thinking about uh, making something right, or they've been thinking about extending an offer. They've been thinking about it. This person up here, he looks like he's pretty confident. He does. He looks like he's pretty confident. He sees this as wish fulfillment. He sees this as a dream. You know, he sees this as this is what I want. This is what I've always wanted. And I feel like that this person is going to come out of the blue. You're not even going to see it coming. You're not going to see it coming. I feel like this is an opportunity that you should probably take the Five of Cups. This is realizing that this is a real opportunity for love. The Five of Cups reversed. Maybe this person gets the epiphany that this is a real opportunity for love. I don't know who this reading is for. But I do feel like there that um, you need to have faith. I feel like we have somebody here that is beginning to realize that this is love. And they are about to come flying right in. Now, I don't know who this reading is for, but look at that. Soldier of Fire, the Knight of Wands. They are apps, and I just barely looked. This is, somebody is going to come flying in, like, and you didn't even see it coming. And they don't have any fear. This person is about to make a move, so be prepared. You don't see it coming. Here, here comes somebody, and they're coming quick. Good luck. 